All the very latest on the Manchester United injury front ahead of the Premier League campaign resuming next weekend. Manchester United will be hoping to put their sluggish start to the Premier League season behind them when the campaign resumes after the international break. After suffering a second successive defeat last time out, losing 3-0 at home to Liverpool, United will make the long trip south to face Southampton with the ambition of securing all three points. The Saints have lost each of their opening three games, scoring just one goal. United have also been sluggish in attack thus far, scoring just twice, meaning they will be under pressure to turn up the heat against Russell Martin's side. Ahead of the upcoming trip to St. Mary's, United are still facing a cluster of injury issues, with Mason Mount added to their list of woes ahead of the defeat to Liverpool. Ahead of the campaign resuming in just under a week's time, Men's Sport has taken a look at the latest on the United injury front. Yoro, who joined United from Lille in July, fractured his metatarsal in the opening game of the club's pre-season tour of the United States. He required surgery, and it is still thought he may be sidelined for up to three months. The Frenchman, however, is understood to be making good progress with his rehabilitation, so much so that he is already walking without crutches. He is understood to have already started work in the gym at Carrington, and United's medical staff are continuing to work with him closely. Centre-back Lindelof was taken off at half-time in United's final preseason friendly against Liverpool in South Carolina and has not featured since. He is understood to have not trained in more than a month. Speaking last month, Ten Hag said, He has an issue on his toe. Hopefully he can return quickly, but not available. It remains to be seen when he could next be available for selection. United, three days before their Premier League opener against Fulham, revealed that Shaw would miss the start of the season with a calf injury. In a statement, the club said the defender is working hard on his rehabilitation with a view to being available after the first international break. Last featuring for United in any capacity on February 18th, starting the 2-1 win over Luton Town at Kenilworth Road, it remains to be seen if Shaw will be available to face former club Southampton next weekend. Ten Hag will almost certainly be asked to issue an update on him when he speaks to the media on Thursday. Malaysia has been sidelined for more than a year because of a knee injury. He last featured for United in any capacity on the final day of the 2022-23 Premier League season. He has been working hard on his rehabilitation program, and Ten Hag recently confirmed he could be back in contention within the next couple of months. The United manager said, He is not that far off, but he is now in a progress situation. At a relatively short notice, he can again return into team training and then into team performance in games. I think it would be possible to be available again in two months. He has been included in United's 25-man squad for the upcoming Europa League campaign, suggesting a return might not be all that far away. Mount, three days before the defeat to Liverpool, issued a statement on social media confirming he had sustained a minor muscle issue in the 2-1 defeat at Brighton and Hove Albion the previous weekend. As a result, he is now in the midst of another spell on the sidelines. The former Chelsea man said that he expected to be unavailable for a few games, suggesting he will play no part at Southampton. Having missed more big chances in the Premier League than any other club so far this season, United need Hoyland back as soon as possible. He suffered a hamstring injury in the opening game of United's preseason tour of the United States, being forced off just minutes after scoring in the 2-1 defeat to Arsenal. He has since returned to the grass at Carrington and is working hard to make his return to the team as soon as possible. Ten Hag, speaking ahead of the defeat to Liverpool, was coy on the Danes' chances of returning against Southampton. He said, We have to see how it develops, how he can progress during the international break to get match fit. He returned on the training pitch, but it will take a while before he is up. Everyone has seen it. The injury happens in the first game of the preseason tour, so he needs also to build some fitness. As Manchester United gear up for their Premier League clash against Southampton at St. Mary's, the team faces a mounting injury crisis. 
Following their recent defeat to Liverpool, several key players are sidelined, leaving Eric Ten Hag with some difficult decisions to make as the season resumes. One of the latest setbacks for United is the injury to Mason Mount. For the more, Manchester United Frankie de Jong transfer truth claims made as free agent update emerges. Manchester United have signed several players this summer, with the window having closed on August 31st, but transfer rumors are still swirling around Old Trafford. Manchester United have endured a difficult start to the season after losing two of their opening three matches. Eric Ten Hag has been handed several new players this summer to improve on last season's eighth-placed finish, but United are yet to see any major sign of things getting better. And despite the summer window closing on August 31st, that hasn't stopped some of the transfer rumors surrounding United. One player who has been linked with a move to Old Trafford for some time is Frankie de Jong. The Barcelona midfielder worked with Ten Hag at Ajax and was heavily linked with United in 2022, but a move never materialized. Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has now shut down talk that United made contact with de Jong's camp this summer. Rumors this summer stated that the Reds were looking at the 27-year-old as a potential alternative to Manuel Ugarte before the Uruguayan's transfer was completed. But he claims that the Netherlands international has had no intention or desire to depart the Catalan giants. Romano also notes that De Jong's salary is too high and United wouldn't have been able to afford him this summer even if they had wanted to. Elsewhere, French news organization Le Figaro have claimed that United and Newcastle remain interested in free agent Adrian Rabiot. They claim that both clubs could make an offer soon. Barcelona are also rumored to be interested, but their financial concerns are holding back a potential deal. Like de Jong, Rabiot was also linked with United in 2022 with rivals Liverpool also said to have been interested this summer. The ongoing Frankie de Jong transfer saga continues to intrigue Manchester United fans. For over a year, the Red Devils have been linked with the Dutch midfielder, who has been viewed as a perfect addition to their squad, capable of offering creativity, ball control, and an assured presence in midfield. Despite the persistent rumors, a transfer has never materialized, leaving many to question the true state of United's pursuit of de Jong. Reports suggest that while Eric Ten Hag remains an admirer of de Jong, having worked with him during their successful stint at Ajax, the player himself has been hesitant to leave Barcelona. De Jong has reiterated on multiple occasions that his preference is to stay at the Catalan club, where he feels settled and valued. Barcelona, while initially open to selling due to financial constraints, have seemingly softened their stance, with manager Xavi Hernandez seeing De Jong as a key figure in his midfield plans. This has created a stalemate, leaving Manchester United without their prime midfield target. Amidst the uncertainty surrounding De Jong, Manchester United have shifted their attention to other midfield options, including recent free agent opportunities. Adrian Rabiot, for instance, has emerged as a potential signing. The French international, who has impressed during his time at Juventus, could be available on a free transfer, which may appeal to United's hierarchy. Rabiot brings versatility, experience, and a physical edge that could complement United's existing midfield options. The idea of signing a free agent like Rabiot may also appeal to the club given their recent spending on players like Casemiro and the financial limitations imposed by financial fair play regulations. Rabiot, who has been linked with United in previous transfer windows, could be a pragmatic addition to strengthen the squad without breaking the bank. While the dream of signing Frankie de Jong lingers in the minds of Manchester United fans, the club may need to focus on more realistic targets in the short term. Eric Ten Hag has already brought in several midfield reinforcements, including Sofian Amrabat and Manuel Ugarte, but a player of Rabiot's caliber could provide valuable depth and competition in the center of the park. As the season progresses, it will be interesting to see if United reignite their pursuit of de Jong or if they opt for more attainable targets like Rabiot to solidify their midfield. For now, the saga continues, but the reality of a de Jong transfer seems increasingly distant.
Frankie de Jong has long been a dream signing for Manchester United, especially since Eric Ten Hag took the helm at Old Trafford. Their connection dates back to Ajax, where Ten Hag helped mold de Jong into one of Europe's most sought-after midfield talents. With his ability to control the tempo of a game, press effectively, and deliver pinpoint passes, de Jong seemed like the perfect fit for Ten Hag's Manchester United project. In the summer of 2022, United pursued de Jong aggressively, viewing him as the ideal player to rejuvenate their midfield. Meanwhile, 